Welcome back to the channel guys, it is me, AD744, so today guys we'll talk about Balogun guys, Balogun has chose the United States, I am so so excited here guys, you guys can see I have my USA jersey, I'm a true American, and it's so exciting to see that he chose the United States over England, you know, and I'm very sorry the news, oh, we're doing this a very late video, I have had work all day, which is the reason why this is coming out so late, you know, I've been so busy, you know, orientation everything, and I just haven't had the time, you know. So I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video upon this. You know, so like I said, guys, if you're new on here, considering that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Comment down below your thoughts, comment section below, guys, and obviously subscribe if you're new. So Balogun, man, this is huge. Because what's so interesting about Balogun is that he could have played for England, as I said earlier. And we look at players that have played for England and are regretting. Look at Fakari Tomori. He's representing England when he should have represented Canada, and look what's happening to him. His England international career is probably dusted. He's probably not going to get selected by Gareth Southgate because he thinks that um, because of the center backs England have, you have Maguire, Stones, you know, then you have um, Gay as well, and then you also have some other players. And I just feel like for England in particular, for USA in particular, man, this is huge. Because Balogun for sure will get play game time here in the United States because our current striker depth is horrendous. I'm sorry. Uh, Haji Wright is terrible. <laughs> I don't want to see that guy ever again for the national team. Uh, especially in the World Cup. I don't want to see Jesus Ferreira. That guy is terrible for the national team. And I don't want to see um, Josh Sargent. These players are simply not good enough. And so your really only competition you really have is Ricardo Pepe. And I suppose Sabachu. Although I don't know what's going to happen with Sabachu. We don't know what's happening with him. I don't. I, to be honest with you, I don't really know if he has a future with the United States. Then obviously you have other players like, you know, people are going to try to tell me, um, you know, Zardes and these kind of players. These players are done. You know, we were, we moved on from these. And so, basically, we have two, three good strikers. Pepe, Sargent, I'm sorry, Pepe, um, and uh, Balogun, and um, who's that third guy? Sabachu. And you've been seeing how good Balogun's been for uh, Reims in Liga. I mean, he's scored the most goals. More than killing Mbappe, Lionel Messi, and Neymar. You know, and I know it's the French League. I know people are not going to care about this too much. But the fact he's been outscoring those kind of players and that kind of league is... It's very, very interesting. So, like I said, man, I'm very excited for the news. I hope uh, This is amazing news, man. And like I said, man, he could have represented England and regret his life. Because we all know Kane, you know, Rashford, um, you know, Danny Ings, um, you know, Tammy Abraham, um, and so many other strikers will get more preference over him. You know, he's just not going to get picked. And, you know, I, I'm so glad he made the right decision. Because, like I said, man, representing the United States could be very, very huge. Um, for his international career. So let's see what happens, man. I hope he gets selected for the upcoming Gold Cup that we have in the summer. And yeah, like I said, man, uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, guys. Uh, like I said, guys, if you're this more, please consider that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. Comment down below your thoughts, comments below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.